Today, we are going to make espresso drinks using another budget-friendly machine. We are going to make use of a combination of Gemini 3200 series. Now, some brands might call it differently, but the functions and the features of the machine will be the same. If you would like to know the full features of this machine, then check out the video link above. We are going to pair it with this grinder, which is an on-demand coffee grinder. Again, if you'd like to know the features and how to use this machine, do check out the video link above. I have already made a complete review of these two machines. For today's video clip, I'm going to show you how to make hot espresso drinks and ice espresso drinks. I'm going to use my 100% Arabica single origin coffee beans courtesy of Arabia Coffee in Thailand. I'm also going to use fresh milk. You can use any milk of choice. And for my ice drinks, I'm going to use my combination of condensed milk and evaporated milk. I have already placed my evaporated milk here and my condensed milk here. Today, I'm not going to combine them to make my milk syrup. I'm going to show you how to make these drinks with separated condensed and evaporated milk. This machine does not have a shot timer display, so I would recommend that you always use a scale to measure your shots and also to time your shot. For my espresso shots, I am going to use 18 grams of coffee beans in and I'm going to pull 60 grams out. Now this is a commercial recipe. Specialty coffee shops would pull less than 60 grams from 18 grams of coffee beans. But these are my recipes. You can adjust according to your own preferences later. Before we start making our drinks, let's take a look at the features of this machine. This is the standby button, which is very useful. If you're not using your machine, you can simply switch it off so you can cut your electricity consumption. And now we're going to turn it on and you will see all these buttons. This is for single shot button, so you can program it for 30 grams of espresso out. And this is double shot, you can program this for 60 grams of espresso out. And this is the manual flow if you'd like to pull your shot shorter or longer. And this is the water dispenser button. All of these are programmable. This is the knob for the steam, which is manageable because you can go on full blast or you can reduce the pressure of your steam. So the steam tip has got four holes, which is very manageable. This is the stand for the cup, so you can put a tall cup or a short cup. The good thing about this machine is that the drip tray can be attached to a drain pipe, so you don't have to worry about draining this all the time. The top serves as a cup warmer and the water tank has a capacity of 1.7 liters, but you must make sure that the water tank is always with water. This is the pressure gauge. Many of those that are using this machine say that their pressure gauge does not move up. How do you get the pressure to go up to nine bars? Now this machine is a single group espresso machine and it has a 58 millimeter basket and this porta filter. So it comes with a single basket and a double basket. Let's take a look at the grinder. The grinder is also very easy to use. It's got this knob on top, which you can adjust the grind size. It says espresso shot to coarse grind, depending on what brewing method you're going to use. On top here, you have the buttons for a single shot of espresso, double shot of espresso, and also the manual flow. So you can pull as many as you like. And they're very easy to use, very easy to program. For my program, I have already set this to single shot is programmed for 18 grams of coffee beans and my double shot is programmed for 20 grams of coffee beans if I am making larger cups. So we'll start by putting some coffee beans in our hopper here. The hopper has a capacity of one kilo, which is quite a lot. We're going to start by making our first two drinks, which are espresso and piccolo latte. Now, because this machine is not exactly calibrated to precision, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a scale to measure my ground coffee. Okay, ta now I'm going to pull 18 grams of coffee beans. Now I've programmed this for 18 grams, now I'm going to check whether it really is 18 grams. And surprise, surprise, it is less than 18 grams, it's 16.8, so I'm going to get a little bit more, okay, and hope that this is 18 grams. So this is why I'm saying with this machine, it's exactly 18 grams at the moment. I am going to use a needle stirrer here to distribute my grinds evenly. And uh, WDT and 
Tam. It's too high so I'm going to use just the scale and this is for my piccolo latte and this is for my espresso there and set the time to start and we're going to pull a double shot let's watch the pressure here pressure is going up to eight bars nearly nine bars let's look at the time Okay, perfect. And now to steam my milk for my piccolo latte, use a cold jug and fill your pitcher just below the bottom of the spout. And every time you steam, make sure that you purge your steam one to remove all the leftover milk there. And now to steam. Okay, the consistency of my milk is very good, I must say. Very easy to use this uh, steam one. And always purge, wipe and purge each time, okay? So now I'm going to pour this into my piccolo latte, okay? Mm, not bad it is good okay very smooth for my next drink we're going to make cortado and this is five ounces cup here for this one I need double shot of espresso now let's see if this is 18 grams this is now 15.2 I'm going to change the program to go a little bit more so I'll add a few more seconds here and set but this time I just want about Three, um, three grams of coffee okay so that's 17.1 I need a little bit more and now I have 17.9 I'm going with that okay so let's use our needles there tap along the sides and we're going to level it and turn Okay, so now to pull my double shot of espresso. Every time you use this machine, flush a double shot of espresso here. There. Start the timer and press this button. Let's look at the pressure. The pressure does go up to 9 bars, which is perfect. That means I have the right amount of ground coffee in my basket. And the time is going 10 beautiful shot here. I want to stop at 60. That might be a bit long, but now I'm going 27, 28. 29 30 it stops at 32 58 grams so I think that for me is a perfect shot and it really is a perfect shot it looks very beautiful here okay so now I'm going to steam my milk you can actually steam your milk while you pull your espresso shot but because I'm giving you a demo here I have to do one at a time so I'm going to take this off and dump this it later and now we're going to steam our milk use another jug which is cold and fill it to just below the bottom of the spout we need only very little milk here so I'm going to purge my steam one and once again wipe before you use it and now let's steam our milk
okay you want to have a microfoam here you don't want it to be too thick okay so wipe your steam one again and purge and for cortado really you're just cutting through the coffee right there and then just a tiny thin milk foam okay that's my cortado now let me give this a try mm, very strong coffee okay you can see the difference in color there next we're going to make latte and cappuccino for my latte I'm going to use my 6 ounce cup here and for my cappuccino I'm going to use my 7.5 ounce cup here and once again I'm going to use 18 grams of coffee beans and use the scale to make sure I get 18 grams tap along the sides leveler and tamp and use the scale and my cups here single shots of espresso for each one of them tear set the timer and pull your shots let's watch the pressure gauge here and see what it goes over nine bars pressure is very good over nine bars for sure so this is for my latte I'm aiming for a microphone not too thick okay now let me try it Mm, smooth the coffee is uh, very mild of course it's just a one shot of espresso but it's perfect okay and then because it's a cappuccino I am going to sprinkle some cocoa powder on top I like to just cover half there you go cappuccino a very thick foam there and let's see how it tastes like mm. the taste of the coffee is stronger because there's uh, really a little bit less milk than the latte because most of them would be foam and now for my last two shots, I'm going to make a mocha and caramel macchiato. Seventeen point nine. I'm going with that. Okay. Distribute. Level. And ten. So far so good. I must say that uh, all my shots are giving me good pressure. About nine bars. So I'm going to now pull my double shot here. Okay. Timer. And go. Sometimes it happens. You have to press it again. So unless you see all the other lights are off, this one is not yet working. Make sure that is the case. Flowing rather slowly, but the pressure is good. I think with this, if it's flowing very slowly like this, what you can do is to make your grinds a little bit coarser or you tamp it less hard. But for this, I'm going ahead with this. I'm just going to stop the flow at about 35 to 40 seconds that means I am adding the pre-infusion time as well and this is now 
it is actually quite perfect. It's okay. See? So that's 60 grams of espresso. That's according to the program. And it took me about 38 seconds. Okay. It is a little bit hard to take out. Okay, I'm going to clean this. Well, you can clean it after you steam your milk. And for this one, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add my vanilla syrup, or caramel syrup in this case. This is a hot drink. I'm just going to put one pump or five ml of my caramel. You don't want it to be too sweet. You just want a hint of caramel here. And for my mocha, I'm going to use cocoa powder. And I'm going to use Hershey's here. I'm sure it's easy enough to find. I'm going to use one tablespoon of my cocoa powder. Stir it in. Now this one will not be sweet because the cocoa powder is unsweetened. Okay, so I'm going to add a little bit of my condensed milk. Okay, just a little bit of my condensed milk there. Make it sweeter because this is a mocha. You'd like it to be sweet and stir. Okay, so that's for my mocha. Make my mocha first. Tap and swirl. Okay. And you can add some chocolate syrup on top or you can just leave it like this, but I'm going to try it first. Mm, that is delicious. Very delicious. I'm going to have this later. Okay. Now you can stop here or you can also put caramel sauce on top. I'll stop here. very delicious I'd say it functioned very well the pressure was good it was always over nine bars there was once when I had a little bit of a slower flow of the espresso there but when that happens you must make sure that you stop the extraction process after about 35 seconds so for the grinder I would suggest that you always use a scale to make sure that you use 18 grams of coffee beans if it's less add more if it's more then take out some of it because once during the process as you have noticed the extraction process was slower because it was over 18 grams and uh, what about the water at this point I've made seven espresso drinks and let's see how much is left okay so still have a lot here just about a third used up. So now let's proceed with making our ice espresso drinks. For this, I'm going to make them in 16 ounces cups. These are ice drinks, they are desserts, so you have to make sure they are sweet enough. For 16 ounces cups, I normally use 18 grams of coffee beans in and 60 grams of coffee beans out. So this is the downside of using these machines. But, well, for this price, I would say it is well worth it. Let's go ahead and start making our first ice drink, which is ice Americano. For this, I'm going to use 18 grams of coffee beans in. So I'm going to use the scale. Set to zero. And try and get 18 grams of coffee beans. Flush the group head before using. And I'm going to pull 60 ml. I'm going to use my scale again. Okay, zero, start the timer and pull.
the pressure is showing more than nine bars, pressure is nine bars. which is perfect the flow of the espresso is also very regulated Now this is my two shot of espresso now let's assemble our ice americano in the 16 ounce cup americano is just really water and the espresso you can add sweetener if your customer prefers it to be a little bit sweeter and usually it's just sugar syrup or honey or any flavor that you'd like to add here i'm making it plain and simple water and espresso so because this is a 16 ounce cup i'm using an ice portion cup here which is 16 ounces so it should be perfect for here so i'm just going to fill my cup with ice here and let's assemble our drink okay so if you'd like to measure it then it's about four ounces or 120 ml of water in there if you'd like to keep the crema I suggest you pour it really fast okay and you'll see the top of your drink still has a crema there okay now this is your ice americano very simple for a 16 ounce cup next drink is going to be my ice latte for my 16 ounce cup I use 60 grams of espresso from 18 grams of coffee beans now it's very important to make sure that your basket is full otherwise you won't get the pressure that you're aiming for here and also the coffee will flow rather fast and it is 32 seconds okay there you go that's my double shot of espresso there just dump this and clean I'm going to make this 50% sweetness level so I'm going to use 50% evaporated milk and that is one ounce or 30 ml of evaporated milk into my glass there and then I'm going to use an equal amount of my condensed milk sixty ml of fresh milk so in this drink there are three types of milk okay there you go and now to fill this with ice one whole cup of ice here and we are going to pour our espresso shot over and we have our ice latte 16 ounces next drink we are going to make cappuccino for the cappuccino I usually prefer to make it a stronger espresso so this time I'm going to pull a lungo espresso lungo espresso meaning I'm going to pull three shots or 90 grams of espresso from the same amount of coffee beans which is 18 grams now let's pull our triple shot lungo espresso so it's going to be a larger measuring cup that I need here and I'm still aiming to get it within 35 seconds for a triple shot of espresso you use the manual flow button here okay because I'm going to pull 90 grams and it took me 37 seconds to pull the shot not too bad okay wow Mmm, smells so good. Really, really strong coffee here. Now, because this is a cappuccino, it will need a milk foam. So I'm going to use my technique using the espresso machine to make a milk foam. Okay, so I'm going to use some milk here and then add some ice. If you prefer the method of using the electric milk frother, that's also fine. So I'm going to purge my steam one and also wipe it to make sure it is clean and then I'm going to steam the steam one tip should be just at the top or the surface of the milk and keep pulling it down so it doesn't make it hot all over okay you just want a lot of air injected into there okay and it's still cold not very cold but it is not hot Okay, my cold milk foam here, and I'm going to use this for my cappuccino. Okay, get our cup. For this one, 
what I need will be just the same. I'm going to use one ounce of my milk syrup. That means sweetened condensed milk. If you're using milk syrup, it will be 60 ml of milk syrup. And then I'm also going to use one ounce of my evaporated milk. Okay. Strangely enough, this is all I need for my cappuccino. I'd like it to taste more of the coffee than the milk because I'm going to use my milk foam later. So that's it. And I'm going to fill my cup with ice. Pour my espresso shots, Lungo Espresso. Chocolate powder on top or cinnamon. And this is my iced cappuccino. For our fourth drink, I'm going to make Spanish latte. This is always requested. For this, I'm going to use also 18 grams of coffee beans and 60 grams of espresso out. Milk plus condensed milk, no evaporated milk. So I need three ounces of my fresh milk, 90 ml, so that's 60 there, and then one more, 90 ml of my fresh milk. And I'm going to use one ounce or 30 ml of my condensed milk. So this is the only sweetener here, and there you go condensed milk there for Spanish latte. Stir to combine. Sticky. Okay, and now to pour ice into my cup. Pour this butter shot over. And because this is Spanish latte, it also needs a foamy top. So I'm going to add milk foam on top and this is my iced Spanish latte using 16 ounce cup and now for our final drink it is going to be iced caramel latte macchiato for this I need 30 ml of evaporated milk 15 ml of condensed milk stir to combine and I'm going to use here caramel syrup 15 ml. You can also use vanilla syrup. Mix them well and then finally add 2 ounces or 60 ml of fresh milk. Fill your cup with ice. Pour the latte mix over. Shake it to level and then pour your double shot of espresso over. Try and do it without making a mess. Top it up with milk foam and decorate with caramel sauce on top. And this is ice caramel latte macchiato. And now for the moment of truth. Americano. Mm. That is quite good. It's smooth and it's also not very strong the taste that is diluted with water but uh, no sweetener at all but it is perfect um my latte oh latte this one look at that color that is what you're you should be aiming for so this is 60 grams of espresso from 18 grams of coffee beans my milk syrup combination plus fresh milk It's very smooth. I love this one. Mm. And now this is my Spanish latte. That is also good. Not so sweet. It's just very similar to the taste of my latte. The only difference is I didn't use evaporated milk here. But it's got that foamy top so the texture will be creamier and is compensated by the lack of evaporated milk here is compensated by the creamy foam on top and so it almost tastes very similar I must say and my cappuccino with this is a lungo espresso 
90 grams of espresso from 80 grams of coffee beans plus that chocolate powder and salt. Definitely strong espresso. I like this one. Not too sweet. And I could definitely taste the coffee. And this is my fresh vanilla latte with caramel sauce on top. So I can probably call this caramel macchiato. Well, many of you might know that in Starbucks they use vanilla syrup and then caramel sauce on top. So this should be close to that. Wow. This is my favorite amongst all of them. They're all good. I must say that using the 3200 series of this machine is not bad. It's um, easy to use. You just have to make sure that you keep refilling the water tank at the back. The drip tray is okay. You don't have to worry so much because you can connect it to a drain pipe. The grinder, you just have to make sure that you are getting the right amount. So if you're saying 18 grams and your program doesn't really, it's not very consistent, whether you program it for 18 grams at uh, 13 seconds, sometimes it goes 18, sometimes it goes 18.7, sometimes it goes 14. So I would say make sure that you calibrate your grinder and you weigh your coffee beans each time. The price of the combination of this espresso machine and this grinder is less than 1,000 US dollars. The question is, can you use this to start your coffee shop? Well, I must say many have already started their coffee shops using these machines. So if you're going to make about 100 cups a day, then that's perfectly fine. The taste of the coffee may not be as uh, smooth as when you use a larger espresso machine or even more expensive espresso machine, but I would say to start with, these two are perfect. Up next, I'm going to do a similar basic barista making hot drinks and ice drinks using mocha pots, so stay tuned. Don't forget to click that subscribe button for more of these video clips. In the meantime, stay safe, stay tuned. Thank you for watching. Ciao for now.